Okay, today we're going to be doing maintenance on a Kohler generator. This is going to be on the maintenance of the battery. Because on the Kohler generators, they're notorious for killing the batteries. Now, on average, a battery on a Kohler generator lasts about three to four years. A few years back, Kohler came out with a kit that was supposed to protect the battery. The kit was pretty much just a wire harness and a diode that was going to absorb the power so it wasn't overcharging. So you were just pretty much adding this in line instead of this plugging straight into the controller, you were adding this wire harness and this diode. So now that these this battery is three years old, which is the average lifespan of a Kohler generator battery, which should go longer, but that seems to be the average. Just move this out of my way. Okay, so we're gonna first thing first, we're gonna remove the battery. Okay, maybe I shouldn't remove it at first. It wants to be a pain and not. There we go. Always take the negative battery post off first. Okay, now your battery is no longer a part of your circuit. Remove the positive battery post. Now what you don't want to do is have this and that hit each other. Okay, so now we have our battery out. What I do is I always scratch these off so I know when I changed the battery last. This one I did in May of 2015. It even said the battery is built in April of 2015. Okay, so first we're going to use a cleaner and just clean it because they say battery acid, if it goes across, discharges the battery and creates a battery failure. So I'm almost out of this. It turns pink on battery acid, as you can see there. But we don't have a lot of battery acid, just what we're expecting. It's going to seep out a little bit over here. Okay. Now we're just cleaning off the top of our battery before we check the cells to make sure they're full. Because what we don't want is to get crap into the cells. Okay, so now the top of our battery is wiped off. I know, I'm still using a fugly old toolbox. This right here was the first toolbox I ever purchased. Used to have an Edelbrock sticker here. That's long falling off. I think the final piece of it just fell off maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago, but let's see what we have. Oh my. Okay, so I'm looking at the top of the cells. I'm looking at the top of these cells, so you want to wipe this crap out of here without putting it in to your battery. And having the battery cleaner on the rag does help. So instead of just having a dry rag that kind of can, the stuff goes wherever it wants. Get a little bit trying to go in there. Okay.
Now we're going to recharge, well, refill the cells. We're going to take distilled water. Let me back up a little. But you can see, you can see water's there, but you actually are starting to see the cells, but the water is still at the top. So. water now this doesn't have any acid in it it's just water so it's got no electrolytes downfall to that is if you have to add too much of it you may have to give the battery time okay this one needs just a little this is the bottom of the eyelet to recharge itself Listen to that. We're getting noises from inside. Interesting. A little more here, not much. Okay, bottom of the eyelid, bottom of the eyelid. They're all pretty much. So just a little bit more bottom of each eyelid okay now what I'm curious of let's try this off I'm actually getting sounds Usually I don't hear anything coming from my battery. So let's give it a minute. Let's see where our battery tests. Right now, because this was a fully charged working battery when I got here. 13.5. So the battery's got a good charge still. Okay. Clean these up. You get dirt and crap here. Now one thing we may still get is we may get some fluid out of the battery. Get the battery removed Let's quickly. Just give a quick wipe out to the compartment it was sitting in. Always good to clean up where you're working. Don't worry about cleaning your truck, just clean up where you're working. Okay, now I like the post in the front. Everybody has a different preference on this. And the reason why I put the cover on this. Was to not to spill. Sorry, I started saying something. I lost track for a second. I started hearing some gunshots in the background because I'm near firing range. But before I do this one, let me open the cells up. Because what's going to happen now is that there's a slight chance that we might get a little leakage. 
from the battery. as the distilled water mixes with the electrolytes. Okay. Now, we should still have the same voltage here, if not a little higher. Thirteen five, perfect. So, even if you're on a Kohler machine that you installed one of those battery tending devices to try to protect the battery that Kohler had the recall on about three years ago. You still gotta check your battery because as you can see here, the cell's dried out. So now it's starting to charge. I'm just gonna leave it open for one minute. Yeah. And I think the battery's perfectly fine how it is, so now I'm going to seal it up. Now, this battery maintenance, whether you're doing a Kohler generator or you're working on a car, the maintenance on the battery is the same. But just be careful because just because you've installed this device onto a Kohler generator with the green controller because the green controller is the one that would kill the batteries. Just because that's there doesn't mean that you don't have to maintain your battery because as you can see here, it has it and this battery was drying out. Oh. I'm Bill the HVAC Hacker. Until next time, I'm out.